What's up guys? We are going into 12 types takedown with a dragoon team. Um, uh, this is a yeah, party of five or less, no items within 15 turns. Should take 10 turns. Uh, we're just going to do our own party. So we're using Sky and Roberta as our dragoons. Um, Fravia is here as a breaker and ice support. Sylvie's here as a buffer and some chaining. Celeste is here because, uh, uh, well, as a magic cover tank. Her uh, base form innate attack applies a magic cover for herself, and she's the one that's going to be getting berserked. So the boss does uh, some fire and peril, fire damage, a lot of uh, non-elemental magic. Well, I don't know if a lot. Some non-elemental magic, 300% uh, fire and peril. Um, but that can be covered. Uh, what else? Some fixed HP and MP drains. Uh, the HP drain is 100%, so it can be mitigated. So that's where Sylvie comes in. It's magic, or actually I think it's hybrid. So um, anyway, uh, this team is more than safe. But anyway, we'll get into it. Um, Fravia, just built for bug killer and OB damage in the base form. Um, yeah, full insect, full LB, and shift form. She is built for insect killer as well. Um, she's not doing her shifted LB, but I mean, she maxes out. But so here's the base form gear, um, and shift form. There's that. So the, um, yeah, preemptive break. That's actually not even necessary. Um, uh, here's her gear and empty slot. Uh, shift form is where she'll be doing her chaining. Uh, she's only using, she's not using a shield just so the weapon in peril isn't halved for her with a shield. So high spirit, um, chain cap materia, chain cap, um, Accessory. Uh, Kresnik's vision card. And she's at 200 insect killers. So, there we go. Uh, resistances don't really matter on her. Same for Fravia. Celeste, base form, um, 400% fire resist. It's, I mean, honestly, in passive provoke, death immunity. Um, so yeah, there we go. She's got, um, Silly's vision card for a little more fire resist. Uh, shift form just built for some, she's only in the shift form for one turn, but there's that. Some fire resist, uh, death immunity important. The death doesn't come until she's back in the base form, and she's staying in the base form the rest of the fight anyway, so, um, yeah. But you do want some bulk on her in the shift form. Could probably jack up her spirit a little more, but, eh, it's whatever. Sky, base form, naked, uh, shift form, Built for jump damage and insect killer. Oh, a little short on the jump damage. Um, let's see if we can fix that somehow. Yeah, we'll just give her another copy of her own STMR. So there's that. Kane's armor. Um, and Wilkes vision card just for some, uh, the hundred percent attack boost. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the flat stats and Roberta base form is naked shift form. She's got, um, Ricard's vision card, Ricard's helm. Uh, yeah. Well, with a dual wield build, um, I just wanted to try out Ricard's gear for jumpers on this fight. Uh, it didn't work out as well as, you know, say, a Esther and a Wilk or something like that. But I just, you know, went with it. 
but anyway. <clears throat> so there's her gear, and she's at full insect and full jump. Alright, so turn one, Sky is going to do her mod boosts and then just whatever. Roberta is going to do uh, Insect Killer for the party, and then Dragoon Zane and Emissary Demise for some mod boosts for the party. Bravia, Shift Horn is going to break on guard and then sword in peril. Sylvie is going to uh, Paladin's Resolve for some regen, Compassion at Night for the ailment resistances, and then Burgeoning Defense for some mitigation. And Celeste in the Shift Horn is going to put up. Shelga for some magic knit. Um, Opera to think of her lover for an ice in view. I mean, we're getting that from Fravia anyway. And then just whatever. Uh, yeah. Drains that we mitigated, so this turn Robert is going to jump. Sky is going to normal attack jump. Um, we need to put up some buffs first, though. So we will shift it LB with Sylvie. Brady is going to or key uh, repost, remise, and then insistence. Celeste is going back to the base turn. And she is going to cover, provoke, and then just heal. Yep, and then we'll find the jumpers. Okay, so we're going to LB with Pravia. Start a ray chain with these two. So we'll send Fravia, and then a second later, we'll send the Stardust Raid Chainers. And then once the chain builds, we'll drop the jumpers. So about 30%. That was kind of a low bearing flow, it looks like. Okay, so this is now berserk the rest of the fight. So we are going to give some bigger insect killer to Roberta. A bigger stat buff to Roberta. And then what else is she doing? Uh, Paladin's offense. Fravia this turn is just going to Blossom, repost, remise, and insistence again. And those two. And we are going to triple bolting strike with Fravia and then end with Frost Blossom. Sylvie is going to triple bolting strike. So we'll send them off and then drop the jumpers. Now this time I think all of our immunity buffs have worn off, so we are going back to the base form with Sylvie. We're going to put up mitigation, ailment resistance, and then regen again. Freddy is going to shift. She will 
Break on guard. Pressure on guard and then uh, flick. Sky is going to reapply her modifier boosts. And Travia is going to put up. Let's see. What does she want? Attack buff for herself, insect killer, the longer duration one, and then Dragoon's aim. Emissary of Demise should still be, it's a 10 turn duration mod boost for the party. Uh, Dragoon's aim mod boost is only 5 turns for herself, so we'll Insect Killer on Roberta, and just chain bolting strike a couple times, we can chain her up with uh, Savia. These two are going to be jumping here in a sec. Time we're actually sending Fraser back to the shift form. Our bolting strike training is a little stronger here now that we don't have her magic store. So bolting strike with her, bolting strike with Sylvie. finish next turn so we will let's see how much longer do we have insect killer from Roberta uh, two more turns I think we'll go ahead and just do Sylvie's shift at LB Fravia can what do we want her doing? Just chaining. I wonder if we could actually just finish the boss. Yeah, we'll, we'll play it safe. We'll go ahead and just jump these two. We want to. We'll go ahead and just reapply Frost Blossom. We'll just do all of her store skills. We get some general mitt from uh, that one of those skills too. Anyway, okay, and this should be the fight. So we'll just triple bolting strike and drop our dragoons. So there we go, 10 turns with the greens, no cleaning units. Um, yeah, not the worst clear in the world, not the best, but. I just like dragoons. I wanted to. And like I said, especially now that I have, you know, Ricard's STMR too. Wanted to see how that did. And I was a little disappointed, but. Oh, damn. 
Roberta put in some work. I'm kind of curious to see what a two Roberta clear would look like. And how quick we'd be able to finish it out. But anyway, there it is. All, uh, yeah, all missions. Yep. Alright, well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.